Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. Them gains. I haven't eaten a drop of food yet. I, I had a shake. I lied. But still. What's good, everyone? Good morning. Today is Monday, July 27th. It's week four, day one. Make sure there's my face. I've been watching these videos, and there's been shit all over my face. So it's day one of week four. And we're moving right along. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm fasting this morning, um, just like every morning, but I ate last night late, probably like 8.30. Um, so I'm pushing it today uh, about 8.30, 9 o'clock as well. We got upper body today at the gym. We're, we're still we're still on that, you know, overgrowth of bacteria diet, we're at like whether it's Candida, E. coli, we're on that diet. And we um, were good this morning, a little bit more salad in the stool section um, this morning. And I'm gonna push it one more day just because they're really close. I'm just getting better and we don't wanna slip behind. So I'm gonna keep that same diet that you've been seeing in the last couple of days, very simple. And then we're gonna be active and back to eating more freely tomorrow, Tuesday. And so we got upper body today. I'll show you my shake this morning. I'll show you everything. Uh, we'll run through the day. It's gonna be a great day today. Although the sun's not out and it's raining all day, and it's going to be a great day. These are the days that we have to win uh, when the sun's not out, when most people are gonna call it quits and, and throw in the towel and not really get it done today. These are the days that have to be executed because anyone can do it when it's 91 and sunny. Anyone can do it when it's 75 and a cool breeze and the sun's out. Anyone can do it when the temperature and the condition is perfect. But what happens when it's not so perfect or ideal? How do we, how do we, how do we respond? How do we act? Uh, so we're gonna go through the day, we're gonna make it happen. We are making gains. I'm gonna show you my weight. I was 200 plus pounds today. So we're gonna weigh in. We're gonna be taking pictures probably tomorrow because of the sunlight. We're looking to get some pictures week by week. I'm not doing so great on pictures, but we'll get more pictures in um, so you can see the progress. But we are moving right along. Vegan athlete series, making gains on a vegan diet. So you guys stay tuned. I'm excited and we will be having a good day today. All right, all right, let's go. All right, so I got my protein shake. I threw blueberries in here because like I said, I can only have so much sugar and so many types of food on this particular diet. And so blueberries in here, nice little addition. Uh, it's just blueberries and the protein shake and almond milk, no bananas, no walnuts, no anything, no dates, no none of that stuff. But it's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna sip on that for a little bit. Right there, you want some? You want some? I'm gonna sip on that for a little bit and then uh, drop some content, make some content, and then we're going to the gym. All right. Peace. The gains are real. I do this, I do the bodybuilding, weightlifting, body composition thing for sure. So, uh, so we're about to go eat lunch and make some gains and then go to the gym. So now, I am having another protein shake because it's three o'clock. Three o'clock is my shake time after my meal around 11. So whether I have the shake before I go to the gym or after, it's just depending on what time I go to the gym. So this is because I haven't gone to the gym yet, so I'm gonna get some more food in, my body's hungry. Because I've been following the rules, because I've been following the protocol to a T, I haven't been causing any more distress to my stomach and my appetite came back because when you're going through things and you have stomach pains and you have, you know, leaky gut and stuff, your your body's not hungry. You're not hungry from the same amount of food that you would be, and you're just like I said, more in recovery mode. And so, because I've been doing the right things, feeding prebiotics, fiber-rich foods, my appetite has been good because the bad bacteria has been settling down. We have been keeping it under control. Uh, so I'm making sure I get my calories in. We're about to go to the gym, hit upper body. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Week four, day one, closing out phase one here. Let's get it. Yo, I just got off the Stairmaster. This is my face. My full warm up. I literally haven't started working out yet. I'll get a little boogie. So I literally haven't started working out yet. This is just my pre-workout or warm up sweat. That's important. It's important. So uh 
I'll take you guys through that once I get to the rest week, which is the end of this week. Then I'll take you guys through my warm up, and because I'm taking a break, so I'll walk you guys through that. But it's lit. So now, about to go work out. Today we're working on the biceps. My left bicep is super weak, and my what my uh, my lats weak, my calf muscles weak, my glute, everything on the left side is weak. And I've been working on my lats. I'm working on my triceps because I get this popping and clicking in my elbow, and it's like painful, even on those skull crushers over there with a the dumbbell, like over the head. Skull crushers hurt like hell. Um, and so I found out from doing push-ups. Just like looking at my muscles that my bicep on my left side is extremely weak. And I never would have thought that my calf muscle or glute or hamstring or lat muscle or shoulder would have any like correlation with my bicep. Not to say that's the reason that everything is bad, but it's definitely a reason that I have an upper body kind of imbalance. And so working heavy on my bicep, they look good, but they are not functioning 100%. So, uh, lagging big time in my bicep. I'm getting that done today as well. A lot of arms you see today. And then I want to make sure that I'm pretty even going into phase two. So uh, these next couple of days, this last week, I'm going to be focusing really on just hammering any deficiencies, any imbalances. So uh, yeah, let's do it. So, uh, just got done working out. I'm leaning out the side because, you know, the sun sets in the west. It's west over there. So I'm leaning out my car to, uh, to get some, uh, sunlight. So, done working out. I'm going home to get a protein shake. It's like my fourth protein shake today. It doesn't hurt my stomach, so that is beneficial. Going to get a protein shake. And then I'm going to get my last meal in. And then making some content. The, the, the show goes on. Like Lupe Fiasco said, the show goes on. So thank you guys for rocking with me so far. Extra questions in the comments below. And I will see you in a little bit once I get home. All right, let's be great. Protein shake. Okay, so a couple of things. One, uh, <laughs> so I know what I'm doing. I've been telling you guys about my diet, why I have to eat a certain way, and how I get bloated and have gas and all these symptoms because of the situation I put myself in, right? <laughs> and I've been walking us through it. And so right now, although I said today I was gonna be my, another full day and then I should be good tomorrow, 
I had a date today. I had a date right now. I've been saying what's going on. So I know what's going to happen. And I don't know. Does that make me an idiot? Kind of. I had, I had a date. And I didn't want it. I had no urge for it. My body didn't tell me that we wanted it. And when I want dates, I want dates. I want to dip them. I want to dunk them. They're amazing. And I feel fine. I feel, I'll eat like six of them, dunk them in peanut butter, add salt, and be 100% fine. Nothing will happen. Except for when I'm going through this and there's an overgrowth of bad bacteria in my stomach, that sugar feeds that and exasperates it. And then I have gas. And then I, you know, am bloated. And things happen. So I had the littlest piece. This is not even a full day. <laughs> I had a little bit of peace. Because I know. I've been telling us. I've been saying what's going on. So I know what's going to happen. And I don't know. Does that make me an idiot? Kind of. But I just, I just wanted to test it, right? So I had some and immediately had to let one go. And then I didn't finish it. Immediately. Immediately gassy. And I'm like, ah. But I feel fine. I feel great. I'm fine. I know I didn't destroy it. Those little grams of sugar in my body will be fine. Um, I'll be able to eat a salad tomorrow. I'll be good. But I'm just telling you, when you have digestive things going on, you have to know what's going on because there's some foods that will make it worse, exasperate the situation. And there are some things that won't make it worse. And then you can eat those so you can still get your calories in and you'll get the nutrients necessary to make you feel good while your body's working to fix everything. So that's important, okay? So that's one. Number two, I'm drinking this water right here. It's called Aqua Pana. It's my first time having it. And it's natural spring water, right? And if you watch my videos, we talk about what kind of water. There's purified water. There is, um, what is the boiled water called? All these types of water. I can't think about one water right now. But there's natural spring water too as well. Natural spring water is my go-to choice. Whenever I can find water, I want natural spring water. Comes straight from the spring, like the like a body of water, like somewhere like Niagara Falls. And then get the water. This one in particular came from Ruspino, Italy. Bottles at the source. Aquapana. Aquapana. And Scarberia e San Piero, Italy. That's my Italian by San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino. Oh, this is the same thing that makes San Pellegrino. That makes sense why I like it. <laughs> uh, but this, this water is really smooth. Uh, when you drink it, it like disappears in your mouth. And I drink a lot of water to know when water tastes different. This water's pretty good. I'll be getting another one. All right, so that's it. About to go make some content. And then we're gonna eat. And then we're going to get up and do it all over again. Cool? All right. Okay, one, yes, I did throw the, re the rest of that data away. Uh, cuz like what are we doing tomorrow should be back to normal it should feel great um, how am I gonna tell I'm gonna tell by you know waking up drinking water going for a walk so that it moves all the food to my through my digestive system and then I can just check through my bowel movement and so I'll just look down and if it's a solid and we're good to go and it's just like it's supposed to be and then we're good and if it's not and then it's not and they're like yeah bow how was that date how that date taste we will wake up in the morning we will go to the bathroom we will check and if the stool is solid, then we're good. And we're back in action. I'm gonna fucking dunk some dates and some peanut butter. And just like drink sugar. <laughs> or, if it's not, then we'll just do another day, right? Because um, I feel fine. I feel good. I feel like tomorrow's the day. Um, but with that being said, this is my last meal. I'm going to throw salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, um, and that's it on there a little bit of avocado oil and I'm gonna eat that make some content and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning uh, give you the update on my life you guys are getting real personal it's in, I'm getting real vulnerable on these vlogs here uh, just <laughs> with 
the hopes that it helps you. Like, yo, I'm human too. I go through these things too. It's not just like peaches and cream over here. It's not just like, oh, he just wakes up and goes, he's just perfect and he's fucking shit and roses. That's not how it works, bro. I'm human too. I have like urges and impulses. I want to be satisfied by like food. Um, sleep's important. Like, so I give all this information uh, with the hopes that you guys are taking it, learning, or just looking into it more, right? Um, and we'll continue to grow. So ask your questions in the comments below. Uh, we'll build a community, massive community, uh, but super tight-knit community. And uh, we'll help you guys get to where you want. Transform your body, so burn fat, build muscle, and then get your overall health just 100% where you want it. All right, so thanks for watching. Try to get a thumbnail. It's the thumbnail right here. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow.